Hello friends, this video on wastewater story part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now this is going to be followed by the primary treatment of sewage. Now in primary treatment what happens? Here again we will have physical removal of particles from the sewage using various different processes like filtration, sedimentation, flotation, etc. So we will see how further because now we do not have bigger particles in the sewage and you also do not have a lot of sand or grit. However, you still have a lot of solid particles which are maybe even smaller in size. So now our targeting are those particles. So here, uh, before we talk about the primary treatment, let us quickly look at the concept of filtration and sedimentation. So fil in filtration, what happens is whenever some solid particles are present in a liquid, we pass it through a filter. Filter is something which has pores, which are, which are so tiny pores that those pores will allow the liquid to pass through it, but it will not allow the solid to pass through. And that's how we can separate the solid from the liquid. So just think of the example of uh, example when you prepare coffee. So when you prepare coffee, so what happens? The solid part of the coffee remains over the sieve, but the liquid part is being poured down. So that is an example of filtration. So this is another concept which is being used uh, in throughout this process of sewage treatment. And in sedimentation, anyways, I discussed sedimentation some time back. So here the particles are separated under the influence of gravity. Now gravity tends to pull everything towards itself. So everything it tends to fall downwards due to the action of gravity. Now what happens is those particles which are heavier, they tend to settle at the bottom and the lighter particles, they tend to remain above. So let's suppose if you have a solution like this, which has uh, some solid particles. If you leave it for some time, then after some time you see that all the solid particles have settled at the bottom and you have clean water above. So you can actually take this clean water out and that's how you can remove these solid impurities from this water. So that's the concept of sedimentation and sedimentation concept have been used in the uh, grit and sand removal tank. Now in primary treatment we so now let's see what do we do at the water clarifier. Now till now in the preliminary treatment we have already separated the bigger particles and also uh, a lot of sand, grit and some particles which were heavier in density. Now here again even now at this stage also a lot of particles are still present which are solid particles which are heavier. So here also the idea is to slow down water so that the suspended solids will settle out at the bottom. But in this case it is not only the solids that will settle at the bottom but also there are less dense oils which will float on top of the tank and that's why come the con comes the concept of flotation. So oils are not soluble in water and oils are also lighter they are less dense so that is why oils tend to float on the surface of water now as you see here the construction of the water clarifier is done in such a way that that it has sloped towards the center so it is something like this i'll draw a very simple figure here which will help you to understand so something like this so you see it, it, it has a slope in this direction. Now what happens is as the water flows through it, the particles which have more density, they tend to settle at the bottom and those particles tend to fall here and they start filling the space here. So these are the particles which have more density. Whereas the less dense oils tend to remain at the surface. So here you have the less dense oil. Now as this water gradually keep moving like this, what happens? All the less dense oil are left behind at one corner of it. So you can actually take out all the less dense oil from here and you can also remove all the more dense uh, substances from the bottom. So these substances which settle at the bottom because they are more dense, they are termed as sludge. So sludge is the term which is given for the solid so which settle at the bottom and the substances which float on above, they are termed as scum.
So in this step, so this primary treatment is very important because here the water clarifier separates the scum as well as sludge from the water. So the dense solids which settle at the bottom are sludge and the less dense oils which float on the top are scum. Now the question is how do we take out the scum and the sludge from water because like in case of sedimentation just whatever is there at the bottom is impurity everything else is clear water so just pour it into some other vessel but in this case at the top also you have scum so that also needs to be removed from the bottom also you have sludge that also needs to be removed so for this purpose we use devices like this we use a a skimmer so this is called a skimmer and this is like um, it, it is similar to a sieve that is it has pores on it and this skimmer can be used to remove the scum so you can just put this skimmer into the water and when you take it out it will hold all the scum in it so the skimmer can be used it is like a shallow utensil which is usually perforated with tiny perforations over it so skimmer can be used to remove the scum and similarly scraper can be used to remove the sludge scraper this is how a scraper looks like however in a water clarifier you, you need a scraper at a larger scale so you basically have big machines there but there also the concept of a scraper remains something like this so you it has a sharp edge and that's how it can actually take it out using the scraper so a device like scraper is used to remove the sludge and a device like skimmer is used to remove the scum so once you have removed the scum as well as the sludge all you are left with is a clear water so this is the purpose of water clarifier and by now once this primary treatment is over we can say that the water is almost clear of this um, the impurities which were more dense and which had to settle down so all those sedimented impurities are like clear by now now as i have mentioned before also that in many uh, treatment plants the primary treatment and the preliminary treatment they are fused together and they are together known as primary treatment so in those kind of plants in under primary treatment only physical treatment is done where bar screens and uh, sand and grit uh, removal tanks are used and also the clarifiers where primary settling of uh, the waste is done so everything is done in just one stage and that is called primary treatment treatment so it, it depends on uh, one treatment plant to another so we have covered two stages that is preliminary treatment and primary treatment and we saw that in both of these treatments it is all about physical treatment where we have physically removed impurities from the wastewater so now thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.